Hello Capricorn, welcome to your monthly love reading. We're going to be looking at past, present, and near future energies, as well as how you're feeling about each other. So let's jump right in for Capricorn, spirits, angels, guides. Messages for Capricorn, please. Now it's always Capricorn. This is a general love reading. It will not resonate with every Capricorn watching 100%. Check out my playlist for Capricorn if you want to get um, or maybe resonate <laughs> if you if I could talk English. Um, check out my playlist for Capricorn if you want to see more videos. There might be a video there that resonates for you. So I'll have that linked in the comments. All right, so first card out is healing family issues and codependency. Okay. Hmm. So I, I'm getting like fa familial attachments here. Uh, something unhealthy, maybe a, an unhealthy attachment of some sort due to family or even I'm getting like a group of friends or like a past partner or a current partner for some of you. So we'll see. Messages for Capricorn, please, Spirit. All right. Okay, let's cut the deck and see what we get. Okay. In the recent past, we have the Seven of Pentacles reverse. In your energy, we have the Emperor. Wow. With the Ten of Cups reversed. Maybe you're the one that ha is having some sort of difficulty with family attachments. Um, or you're just very unhappy. But I feel like your energy is, let me figure this out. Let me take charge. Let me take back control. In the present, oh my gosh, we have the Empress reversed. And the Devil, Cap Capricorn energy, there you are. Showing up to your own reading. And also another card for unhealthy attachments. In their energy, we have the Lovers reversed, Gemini energy, and the Knight of Wands reversed. So they could have, there could have been a separation uh, due to this person. Um, I feel like they made a mistake here. Um, and it makes sense if they're in, in, in this Knight of Wands reversed energy. Because they tend to jump into things. They don't really think about... The consequences of their actions they're not very dependable because they're just kind of in and out in and out how is this wrapping up oh jesus knight of swords reverse in the near future position so we're going to clarify all of these and get some more information with the knight of swords reverse i'm getting you know either a delayed message or possibly something that's not communicated or maybe even deception we'll see bottom of the deck I have the hangman entanglements is what I heard so the hangman this doesn't represent entanglements but it can be somebody that's hanging in suspension not really taking action or move or moving or uh, maybe feeling stuck so we'll clarify and see you could be dealing with an Aries another Capricorn a Gemini does not have to be but those are the signs i see so far so let's get into this for capricorn spirit help me clarify these energies for capricorn now with the seven of coin reverse there in the recent past either something is like not happening not growing not manifesting maybe there was um a bad investment made here just when I say that, there's a three of wands. So delays, possibly somebody waiting around for something. Um, there's possibly even impatience or frustration. So let's see. Why is the seven of pentacles reverse? Ten of Wands reverse, okay, some sort of burden being dropped or needing to be dropped, sort of difficulty, a weight, and judgment reverse. Yeah, I feel like this this was somebody that they jumped into something or they may have invested their time, their energy in the wrong thing, possibly because their judgment was blocked here. And instead, it's like they, they're... 
whoever's judgment is blocked is in a situation that is very difficult. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles reverse. Can I have one more, please? For the Seven of Pentacles reverse. The Hermit reverse, Virgo energy. So, I feel like this person ran away from their situation um, rather than tackle it head on. Maybe that's why it's taking so long to address. This could also be somebody that has ignored good advice um, for whatever reason. Maybe they have not been listening to their own intuition. They could also be coming back. Um, let's see. Tell me more about this hermit. Oh, we just flew out. The hangman reverse. I feel like this is somebody that maybe they're trying to get out of a situation now with the hangman reverse but the hangman reverse is also a card when i see it with the judgment card reverse it's almost like they were very narrow narrow-minded or their focus was like laser focus so they weren't able to really see both sides of the situation maybe their again judgment was clouded this could have been stubbornness as well i don't know why i'm getting that but i just got that Okay, so I have the Empress Reverse, which is reminding me of the Seven of Pentacles Reverse. Tell me about the Empress Reverse. Why is the Empress Reverse Spirit? The Hierophant Reverse. Yikes, Taurus Energy. Tell me about the Empress Reverse. I get one more. The full reverse. We keep getting like all these major arcanas. These are major shifts in energy that are taking place right now, that are happening right now. And just as I say that, there's a moon reverse at the bottom of the deck, Pisces energy. I mean, this is crazy. So with the Empress reverse, this could, okay, I'm getting so many messages right now, like I'm reeling. Um, I'm gonna tell you the two that are really coming through very clearly. The first one is um, usually the Empress reverse for me as a reader can mean that something is not manifesting, not growing, possibly because it was not the right investment, which makes sense. I have the Seven of Pentacles here to reverse. Um, but then I see here the Hierophant reverse, which could symbolize a broken commitment so my guess here is that this Empress Reverse is possibly someone that has been left behind. Um, and with the full Reverse, they could even be, um, this could have been like a, rest, a reckless situation here where someone took a huge risk leaving this em em Empress or breaking a commitment here. Let's see, can I get one more for this Empress Reverse? The other message I'm getting is that someone here is breaking free, um, being reckless out of necessity. Um, this is someone, when the higher fire is reverse, it can also mean that someone is rebelling against what, what is expected of them, rebelling against tradition, norms. Um, so be, maybe because something was a bad investment, someone has to rebel so let's see can i get one more please for the empress reverse one more card spirit my gosh the star reverse another major arcana aquarius energy this is something a, a situation that feels hopeless uh this is a lot of um losing faith needing to keep faith or hope alive but it's very difficult needing to heal to focus on oneself what i'm getting here is almost like someone tried to make this work and couldn't can i get one more for the star reverse maybe the situation seems hopeless and so they're, you know, needing to rebel or take a huge risk here. 
the devil reverse breaking free and then the knight of wands yes to go after what they want there you are again showing up with capricorn energy with the devil reverse so this is someone that's breaking free here of this unhealthy situation tell me about the devil this is some sort of attachment here maybe um a mistake can i get one more please for the devil something that maybe appeared really good at first five of pentacles reverse yeah this is somebody focused on recovery there could have been financial difficulties here and there's the strength card more major arcana that's uh leo energy someone having courage dealing with this head on that's that emperor energy like you know taking the the situation taking it back under control I feel like this is going to require some sort of courage from your person or from you if this is you take it as it resonates all right let's look at your individual energy so i have you on this side capricorn and your person on the other but feel free to flip it if it resonates more i'm going to be using my stellar energy oracle deck this is available down below if you're curious spirit tell me more about capricorn and this other person more about Capricorn and this other person. What are their energies at this time? Tell me about Capricorn's energies at this time, Spirit. This one. Love letter, message, confession, response. A special, a special message that always trips me up is on its way. Feel like you have something to say or perhaps someone's communicating with you here inner voice bountiful harvest okay so someone's intuition is guiding them oh and then i have the tied up card interesting tell me about this other person tell me about this other person that capricorn is dealing with my cards are like being really like sticking to each other which is kind of rare okay i'm just gonna take that wishing well sweet dreams wow okay your dreams are becoming reality your wish is being granted so this is someone that's really wanting is is desiring something your person they have a wish um they have a dream so let's see what this is all about here Help me clarify, please. For Capricorn. Tell me about the Emperor. Let's see what we can get here. Why is the Emperor here? King of Swords reverse. Why is the Emperor here? Nine of Wands reverse. The Emperor reverse. So what I'm getting here, it's almost like um this Emperor, either he doesn't have all the facts. You know, I say he, you know, don't focus on the gender. I'm just saying he, because he happens to be a male in this picture, but... Gender is not important. This could be you if you're a female or if you're a male, this could be you. Um, anyways, so the emperor, maybe they don't have all the facts with the king of swords reverse or they're dealing with a situation that's been very difficult. Have the nine of wands reverse. This could uh, symbolize trust issues, exhaustion, severe exhaustion, um, being put through the ringer and almost being ready to give up. I feel like this emperor at one point thought this was out of their control. Um, this was something that maybe they couldn't uh, keep a, like a get a grasp on here. Maybe um, maybe this was very difficult for a really long time, and I, that makes sense because I have the ten of cups reversed. So there's disappointment here, heartbreak, uh, family problems most likely. Tell me about this ten of cups reverse. Why is the Ten of Cups reverse? 
four of wands and nine of pentacles reverse so there's no um there's a yeah again with the attachment there's something here with home or family there's some sort of tie here some sort of bond tell me if that's resonating for you capricorn either your person's dealing with this and you're thinking about it or they're the ones dealing with um or you're the one dealing with this sorry Okay, so why is the lovers reversed for your person? Why is the lovers reverse? Ten of Swords, wow. Yeah, there was definitely some sort of ending here. Uh, separation. I'm not sure if it was with you, but your person definitely had an end of a cycle here. Wow, Seven of Swords. Okay, so this was possibly due to someone... Seven of Swords, Knight of Wands reverse. They weren't doing what they were what they were supposed to be doing. Um, this could have been due to deception, betrayal. Why is the lovers reverse? Especially in this deck. Queen of Cups. There's still love, but I feel like this was very difficult. Maybe emotionally somebody got uh, messed around with emotionally. You or your person. But in this deck in, in particular, which I'm using the Wheel um, of the Year Tarot, the Seven of Swords has three people in it. And almost like someone's kind of, this this gentleman is kind of having an eye on someone else, which it kind of goes with uh, this Knight of Wands Reverse. They could be a kind of player-like energy. Let's see. Tell me about this Knight of Wands Reverse. And I don't want to reverse. Six of Wands. Tell me about this Knight of Wands reverse. Ace of Pentacles reverse. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. I feel like this person had someone else or they weren't serious about committing due to another person. <clears throat> Maybe they kept you waiting. Um, we have the Three of Wands again at the bottom of the deck here. Kind of like waiting for things to improve or maybe they've made some sort of uh, promise. Um, this person, um, I don't know if this happened in the past, Capricorn, but I feel like they they had some sort of separation on their side. Either they caused it or they went through it. <clears throat> Tell me about this Knight of Wands. Why is the Knight of Wands here, Spirit? So I feel like this Knight of Wands, they're trying to deal with an imbalance here with the Six of Pentacles reverse. Things are not okay. And so it's almost like they're trying to figure out how to make something happen, how to move towards something maybe they're going to move towards something a little too quickly and get themselves into trouble i'm not sure if this is your person this is whoever is in an unhealthy attachment i honestly have no idea how this is going to end up so let's see let's look at the near future card here knight of swords reverse tell me about the knight of swords reverse please whoa that's way too many why is the knight of swords reverse Five of Swords Reverse. Tell me about the Knight of Swords Reverse, please. Eight of Cups Reverse. Knight of Swords Reverse. Page of Cups. What? Interesting. With the Page of Cups and the Five of Swords Reverse, and the Eight of Cups reverse, this could be somebody returning to apologize. But there might be something off about what their apology here. So take, take their apology with a grain of salt if they do come back around to say that they're sorry, Capricorn. 
Okay, be careful. Let's see. Can I get one more for this page of cups? Where's the page of cups here? Justice reverse. Libra energy. Ten of pentacles reverse, three of cups reverse, and then the ten of cups again. Um, hmm. I feel like they want to apologize for the third party interference or the interruption here would be if it was a family situation, another long term commitment. Maybe if they weren't just like stable, that was an interference. I feel like they want to tell you that you are what they want. They're happy ending here with the Ten of Cups. Um, like they want to be a happy family. What's behind that? Yeah, they want to recover what they've lost with the Five of Cups reverse. There's a Seven of Pentacles reverse again. Almost like I, I messed up. I made a mistake or the situation has become unbalanced, right? Maybe though there's a little, I mean, I feel like there is emotion here. I have the Queen of Cups, Page of Cups. Um, so I feel like um, there is some sort of emotional tie here. And I do feel like this person wants to, you know, rebalance the situation by apologizing. But with the Justice card reverse and the Knight of Swords reverse, it's almost like they are not going to come clean 100%. There might be something else. Yeah, Queen of Swords reverse. They might not tell you everything. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your likes, shares, and subscribes. Um, liking and subscribing helps out the channel a lot, and it's a free way to support the channel. So thank you if you've already done that. Don't forget to leave me a comment if this resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you, and I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.